for somebody who is a real filmmaker and interested in keeping their IPs, like me, mm -hmm. Tubi is the goal. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Do you think that that Tubi is a good thing to understand? Now, Brandon T. Jackson was on here and he talked about Tubi and, mm -hmm. and some of the moves that they're making over there. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Tubi Movies. Uh, I'm Are from you, too good? I, I'm, you from the Tubi world? Well, I'm from Detroit. So you pushing Tubi out there? You 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 pushing? No, I support young filmmakers that's, okay. that's trying to do their thing. Oh, okay. Because okay. they all from my city. By the way, we the number one uh, city that's putting out these movies that really? you're seeing. Yeah, sorry. Wow. We well, when you did uh, Envy, you was a kid. You was, that was I did Envy when I was like 16. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that was a time where when you think about it and you go back to that place versus doing something now how would you go in and illustrate because you wasn't producing back then of course but mm -hmm. how would you go in today how do you set it up far as when i see your tubi, when i see your tubi film versus uh you know one of them ones that you know my boy in right there you know what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> shout out to coop you know what, I'm whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, what, what we got to do we got to give the filmmakers time to learn how to make great films they, okay. they, they, they it's drug dealing turn it to, to movies. You take your drug money and you put it into films. And and you can't down anybody because they didn't go to film school. They just trying to make to money make for their money. family. Yeah. You heard you made a million dollars over here, a million over here. You give me over Tubi. Uh of course I'm going to, you know, try. If I know I can make a way, that's one thing about love about our people. We will make a way out of no way. We be like, look, I got these cameras. I'm gonna set it up and we're gonna do the best we can. We're gonna just get better as we go. The problem is, is that once it gets time to, uh, uh, when it gets down to the thing and they didn't expect for Tubi to be branded the way it is, because the way it is, is like the black network. Fox owns it. Right. Where is it at in five to 10 years? Is, right. it, grow is it growing? Is it grow? It, it, I mean, everybody's on their phone. And yeah. how is it compared to the Hollywood movies? And you see what I'm saying? That? We'll the see. quality and all that. See, this, mm -hmm. is, this is the thing, right? For somebody who is a real filmmaker and interested in keeping their IPs, like me, mm -hmm. Tubi is the goal. Because it's an AVI platform, which means advertisement video on demand. So every time you see them commercials, that's where it's coming from, that right? Like, it. just to give you the history on it, back when cable TV was really popping, they didn't give a fuck if you was watching 106 and Park, Martin, they didn't care. They just knew they was trying to sell this bleach. Mm -hmm. They was trying to sell Pine Tall. And that's where all the money was coming from. So all of the, the network is getting all this commercial money and that's how they're able to then, you know, fund these different shows. YouTube does the same thing. Exactly. They're another AVOD platform. They about to start doing original content too. That's and right. And a lot of That's people correct. are under, like I hate when people use the term a 2B movie. Nah, nigga, you just decided to go in the backyard and shoot a movie with an iPhone. I'm not going to do that shit. That's real. You see what I'm Jackson. saying? Mm -hmm. Same thing. I'm not, my movie ain't going to look like that. So stop saying 2B movie. But you got to think about it. 2B has come along with, like I haven't watched 2B in a while. Mm -hmm. I've been recently, I've been wanting to get back to watch 2B because Everybody's saying the quality is a lot better, but when I was watching it, mm -hmm. it was a lot of bootleg movies on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people ain't got it. Yeah, but it had and a lot it, of good it, stuff on there, too. Exactly. The first movie I ever watched on Tubi was Tombstone. Yeah, and, and oh, really? yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they, they went and licensed yeah. some classics, you know? <laughs> they so. got all the older stuff, too, like all the, mm -hmm. the Husbands of Hollywood and all that mm -hmm. stuff so, with mm -hmm. Kevin Hart and them. So mm -hmm. there are some good stuff on there that I. I watch and it's just cool to watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They actually have this great show. Y'all got to check it out. It's called Borders. Mm. It's about like some black kids from the hood that get an opportunity to go it. to a boarding school. Yeah. Is so. it a TV series or movie? TV series. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't know. And see, that's also what a brand at too. Mm -hmm. TV series. Everybody's moving to this TV series now. Right. And I, 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 COVID did that to me. Exactly. Because everybody's in front of TV too long. Yeah. How many times you go watch Straight Outta Compton? People be having the nerve to come to me and be like, when y'all doing a straight out of Compton too? Dude. Nigga, I hope never. I died in the first place. I don't know if you forgot. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's that's how much people want content. People want episodic content. They don't want it to ever die. But then another thing I think I've always wanted to ask the actor this question because I've watched movies and you know when you die and you're in a casket and stuff, is there any, any sort of horror feeling to that? Like when yes. you you look and you see yourself like 
Who it's wants to see that? And family weird. members watching that movie and like your mom and it's like I would never want to see my child. Yeah, it's super weird. It's super, super, super weird. I mean, the first episode of the shy, right? When um when Coogie dies and mm -hmm. he, we, we do the funeral, bro. Seeing Jack King face on that shirt, f me up. Seeing him lay in that casket me up i'm talking about a lot of what you're seeing is not acting it's real you know what i mean because it bring you to them times because life is so short and it's like that shit be happening so fast mm -hmm. you know so when you peek over that pew and you i mean oh man when you lean over that podium and you see a nigga that you really know and oh man back up crazy you know and some directors use that like when we did the movie detroit they didn't give everybody the whole script Oh, so right. you can be surprised. Bro, so when they come down them steps and they see me laying on the floor, they was like, oh, they didn't even know I got killed. It f***ed them up. <laughs> them up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Jacob Lattimore, that, that, that face that he had, that was all real. All real. Wow. Was all real. All right, I'm going to get him out of here, but I need to know your top three actors of all time, mm -hmm. dead or alive. Ooh. Any genre. Top three. And you got to come back because Ooh. I know you have a lot more stories oh, to yeah, tell. Yeah, you you, you oh, gonna be course. anytime you got you some know, going I'm in this thing. You got to show. come see me, man. Next time I'm gonna bring a tent. Come, come on with it. it. <laughs> <laughs> right here, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, top three actors of all time. Yeah, did a lot. Damn, this is hard. Um, I mean, definitely gotta go Denzel. Okay. Oh, Denzel. Definitely gotta go Denzel. Um, Y'all know who Vincent D'Onofrio is? Tell me a movie. Uh, he was Gomer Powell in Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. That's my guy. Um, Number three. Whew. Probably Viola Davis. Viola <laughs> Davis. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. I was like, cold. at least he gave, he gave a woman. I was happy about she that. She cold. I'm talking about... I love her. Because, you know, a lot of acting is, like, about those moments alone, you know? And we, we all know that she got the famous cry snot situation. Yeah, yeah. A lot of women is just afraid of that. They run from that that um that real shit. That, mm -hmm. And you know she really mean? cold with that. They run from that, bro. But, you know, when so, I loved her even more, because I loved her, but, you know, when I loved her, Woman King. Yeah, she was dope in that. To see her go from playing certain kind of roles yeah. to that woman. Yeah. I never even knew she had a body like that. Wow. <laughs> she, she doing it. Now that I did not miss. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but like, um, How to Get Away with Murder? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Crazy dope. I mean, she just has, uh, she she give it up. Let me ask she you this, and, and we about to wrap this up. Lafayette, Louisiana, New mm -hmm. Orleans. Mm -hmm. Who got the best food? New Orleans, hands down. Mike Trout. Down. Then Lafayette. Yep. But isn't it the same food as Louisiana just... No, nah, they compete. They compete, yeah, but I'm... New Orleans what makes y'all special? Uh, we we the originators. It started there and went up. <laughs> 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 now, in Lafayette, it's, it's a little bit more boring. So they ain't got much to do but cook. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, you know, yeah, they, they got them Shirley's out there. See when they got this little extra right here over the elbow? Watch out. Do you feel like Maybe. it was blackballed in the industry? Uh, I don't. I feel like, I feel like um, giants don't see giants when they look in the mirror. So uh, sometimes you got to watch your step. You're going to step on somebody. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. And uh, <laughs> I just, I wasn't paying no attention to that. I was like a toddler. You know what I mean? I was I was fresh out the streets into the industry and had no uh, desire at all to come in the industry and make friends. Wow. That wasn't my shit. I feel like I had already picked my friends. You know how you watch TV and you be like, oh, I, I like this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like when I met James Franco, when I met Tom Hanks, I was like, I knew y'all was going to be like this. Cool. I fuck with y'all. Same thing with Cube. I knew you was going to be. You know, so other than that, I had no desire to, you know what I mean? And then it used to be weird. Like, I remember being at Jerry Breckheimer's house, right? And he invited me to this party and shit. And um, I went to introduce myself to somebody. And I was like, how you doing? I'm Jason Mitchell. And he was like, don't be an asshole. We know who you are. I was like, nigga, this is the part where you say your name. Right. You know what I mean? What the f 
You tell him that? No, I didn't. You supposed but, to. But, but it was because like... It, but it was a glitch moment for me. You know you what I mean? Because it. at the end of the day, it's like, man, I have no desire to be friends with you. Yeah. At all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like, part of me wanted to be like, well, fuck you then. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, but I didn't want to make a scene, so I was like, fuck it. After a while, I just started walking around looking at shit. I mean, that bitch looking at art. I was like, this nigga got cowhide coasters in his house. This is ain't this some shit. But yeah, man, I was I was on my own time, you know, and I um I think I had a lot of like I had a lot of trouble separating myself from what I used to be. Okay. You know, I also learned that about myself in therapy. People used to be like, you know, my therapist would tell me, You talk about what you used to do a lot. You know, and you talk about who you used to be a lot. Like, you, you've you come so far and you've changed so much. Like, why are you afraid to let that part go? You know, and I never did want to switch up on people and go Hollywood and all of that shit. Like, I remember I used to be at these Hollywood parties in a fucking suit and shit being like, how long I got to stay? Because I'm trying to get out <laughs> this and I'm trying to go meet my partners. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. And that, it was just a very naive way to look at things. You know what I mean? The world is so big and there's so many opportunities, you know? But, um... They didn't want to change. Yeah, and I have a hard time trusting white people. And I used to tell them right in their face, I'm not going to trust you until you say nigga in front of me. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I used to make them do it, too. Like, I ain't, I ain't playing. You know what I mean? And they like, did. I, yeah. Was, wow. Jason, I can't say that. Yes, you can. You do it when I'm not around. Stop playing. Wow. Say you it to my face right now. That's make crazy. It. And then we can be friends. Wow, Jason Mitchell, one of the <laughs> dopest interviews of Boss Talk One One. The nigga yeah. was dope as I thought he was gonna be too. Hey. Some niggas, oh, let, me, some niggas let me down. I ain't done yet. Some niggas let me down, but the nigga came through with a nice interview. Thanks to Jason Mitchell. I'm saying that before you get your ass off here. No, yeah. no, it's cool. Look, I ain't, I ain't in I enjoyed. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.